Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Um, I'm bringing you a soap and glory haul. This is my first one ever. I've never owned any soap and glory anything. Um, I found these at Walgreens. Um, this one I got for $50. It's the, what is this called? Extrava Glam, Glamza. Glamza. This is the cosmetic one. I haven't opened these yet. I'm going to open them with you. I'm excited. So, this popped up. And it is a pop up. That is so cute. I'm so going to save these boxes and reuse them because they're just too beautiful to throw away. We got. I had to set this down. I'll just see if I can angle it so where you guys can see. Oh, and then you can't see my face. We'll just set it right here on my lap. We got a brush. First off. It's really soft. I love brushes. I have a whole bunch of brushes, so that'll go in my collection. Then we got two lippies. If I can get them out. I might have to destroy the box a little bit. Okay, this pops out. Let's take the whole thing out. Take out the brush. Alright, we got two lippies. <laughs> the name is cute. It says Sexy Mother Pucker. They are both glitter glosses. So that's what they look like. Very shimmery. And this uh, color is called Candy Queen. I'll swatch them for you. You probably can't even see it, but very light it's almost clear with a little pinky tone and very glittery hopefully my needs to steal them for me this one is a darker like mauve color called plum sup so, we can get that one open Ah, they almost match, honestly. Can you guys see that? A little, little bit darker. Pretty. Ooh, and they smell good. I don't know. I've smelt that smell before. I can't explain it, though. Mm, I've smelt it somewhere. They smell good, though. I should have grabbed some makeup wipes. Let's see if I can get this out without breaking it. Then we have... This right here. It looks like that. Sorry for my nails, so I need to redo them. Super luminizing highlighting powder. Glow out all. Glow all out. I think this is actually my first uh, luminizing powder. Sorry, I'm struggling because they got a protective thing on here. Let's swatch it real quick. That's nice. You guys probably won't see it. I have shitty lighting, so let's see if you can see it. It's right here. You probably can't see that. It's, the camera's not picking that up. So, if you can see it, cool. If not, sorry. Maybe you can see it on my finger. It's pretty. I like that it's not, it has glitter in it, but it's not really shimmery. So that's nice because I'm not, I like glitter, but not in my highlighter. Okay, so that's all that was on the top. Then we have a drawer here. If I can get it. Yep, that comes all the way out. With some more products. Here we have another brush. If I can get it out without ruining it. So eye eye eyeliner. Eyeshadow brush. Very nice. Very soft too. And we have let me just pop this out. Oh, jeez. Liquid black eyeliner pen. 
I've never used an eyeliner pen be before. Oh, it's nice. I'm going to do a couple lines. They're not very straight, but they're lines. It's nice and black. And we have high definition collagen coat mascara, thick and fast. And that's what the wand looks like. Just a straight one. I don't know why I spelled that. And then we have a pretty, I'm still going to break this one. It's called lid stuff. That's cute. I love the casing. Love the packaging. And that's what that looks like. Sorry. My son is watching me videotape. That's who you just seen. It was my last video. <clears throat> I wish I could swatch these better for you guys. I'm horrible at this and my lighting. I need to get real lights. I'll just do the um, shimmer colors. There's three shimmer colors and three matte colors. I'll just wipe it on my pants. Whatever. See if I can use my arm. So them are them three colors. Hopefully you can see all three of them. There's this really pretty light color. It's very faint. And then this one was like a charcoal brown. And this one actually shows up like a mauve purple in the pan but it looks black on the skin so again this is the one that's that last one there that looks black and then what they look like on my fingers I'm not gonna swatch the matte colors and that is it for that box let me just get my life together here for a minute I just love that though. Look at that. Once again, that's just too cute. I'm going to reuse that for sure. All right. And then we have the big pink or the pink big soap and glory. I don't know what you would call this kit. Again, I'm going to reuse the box because that's just too cute. And this one we have the scrub of your life. The ultimate super soothing body buffer. And then it says how you'll know it's the one. Once rough elbows, elbow, sorry, go suddenly silky. Dry shins become suspiciously shimmery. The bumps are gone from the backs of your arms. You start to believe that you, that scrub can conquer all. And it says love experts reveal surefire ways to find. That's what that looks like. It's a nice big bottle. Let's see what this smells like. I don't really... It has a little bit of a scent. It's very faint. Which is good because you don't want your body wash overpowering. Then we have... Sorry, I smell like that lip gloss. <laughs> That's all I can really smell. This one is hand food. The most astonishing hand cream ever you decide. Non-greasy hydrating hand cream with shea butter, macadamia oil, and marshmallow. Marshmallow. Hmm. Uh, scented with original pink rose and bergamot. I think that's how you pronounce it. So that's what that one looks like. Little bottle. It's big enough for hand cream though. Let me take a little bit of that. Can't smell it. Mm, that smells good. Again, it's really subtle, the smell, but it's good. It's not too overpowering. It's not going to give you a headache. Then we have Better Than a Pedicure Heel Genius Amazing Foot Cream Marvel, a mere 
Amir Colis Moisturizing Mix. What's inside? What's inside that counts? And then that is really small. I can't even read it. Uh, macadamia oil, menthol, bilberry, orange, and lemon fruit acid smoothies. So, this is a foot cream. Obviously. I've never had a foot cream before. I'm just going to guess that these all smell the same because that's what I'm getting. They all smell the same to me. And I like the scent, so that's okay. Then you got a poofer. And I'm always rebuying them. So I love them things. And then we've got... I can get this one out. Yeah, the Righteous Butter Original Formula, Very Dry Skin Formula Body Butter. That's what that looks like. It's a nice size jar there. Ooh! I just got lotion all over my floor. Yeah, it's, it's the same scent. Again, it smells really good, though. Stop talking to me. I don't even know what you're saying. Talk to me after. All right. And then we have Clean On Me with natural mandarin peel extract and bonus built-in body lotion. Creamy moisturizing shower gel. So that's what that looks like. Again, nice big bottle. Yeah, they, this one seems like it has a, a little bit of a different set, but not, it still smells the same, just a little bit, maybe a little bit stronger. It smells good, though. One more thing in this box, which is a thing for your hair, for when you're washing your face, or maybe you can use it for when you're doing your makeup, keep your hair out of your face. It's very soft, like... One of them nice blankets you can get. Very soft and it's cute. It has a little bow. Stretchy. And uh, I don't think I told you guys. This box right here ah, was $40. So this one was $40. This, the for the makeup one was $50. So I think that's a pretty good price for them. I tried to look online. I couldn't really find anything besides that big jar of body butter that I dropped the lid on. Um, I think that I found that for $15 online by itself. I couldn't really find anything else because I was going to try to write down like all the prices for everything singly for you guys, but I, I couldn't find anything. So, um, and then I also, this ain't soap and glory, but, um, I got all this stuff at Walgreens earlier today and I found this at Walgreens, which I know Lush makes um things like this so obviously this is like a dupe for their for like lush i'm guessing it's uh the brand is called me bath i don't know if you can there you go this is summer rain shower sherbet exfoliating sugar scrub close your eyes and recall the sky on that sunday afternoon on a hot summer day dark clouds rolling in the mad dash for for home before the rain shower comes beating down on you. Finally, salvation in a hot shower. And then on the back it says, Me Bath Shower Sherbet is a new way to treat your body to a dose of delicious and delectable shower fun. Gently enough to be used daily. This sugar-based scrub and cleanser is packed with vitamin E, Jojo, Jojo Ba, I think that's how you say it, excuse me if it's not. Uh, oil and fragrance. Our shower sherbet will leave your skin smooth and soft, ready for you to take on another day. Me bath is in, is the result of an effort to do simple things exceedingly well with the highest quality ingredients and mutation. Muse. Sorry, I don't know that word. Preparation. We will. We hope we have created products that will gain your approval and continued support. So this is what it looks like when you open it. It's very squishy. I've never actually had any of the Lush. If if it is a dupe for Lush, I've never owned any Lush products. Um, I would like to, but uh, 
I'm a mother of four and I don't have a lot of money. So I found this at Walgreens and I was like, oh, I'm going to get it. I'm going to try it out. So if I can open it, I will smell it for you. Maybe. Oh, nice. I just stuck my finger right in that. Mm, it smells good. I don't know if it... I don't know if Summer Rain is the smell or Shower Sherbet or if that's just the name of it. Because it does not smell like Sherbet. But it's very... It feels like a su sugar scrub. It does. Uh, and of course, it's a, that's what it says it is. But there's grains in there. So it smells good. Also, um... If you guys are interested, there are, at Walgreens where I got this today, um, they also have, uh, what is it called? The, I'm drawing a blank here, bath bombs, there you go. Um, them are expensive, bath bombs. Anywhere you go, even if you buy the cheap ones, I think the cheapest one that I've ever find, found for one single bath bomb is like $5.99. Um, but they have a bag, I think you get six in there I believe I'm not promising but I believe of uh, the same they have I believe four different scents of this and then they have the four different scents of bath bombs that you can get in a bag so this was I believe $12.99 and then the bath bombs that you get I believe six in is $9.99 so you get a whole thing and you can get matching scents or different scents I did not buy the bath bombs because I'm short on money so I did not splurge. I bought, I splurged enough for myself. Um, so yeah, that's there if you want to check it out for yourself. They also had some other, I don't remember the name brand, but I want to try to get them. Um, there's like different new face, wa face wash stuff there. Um, that also comes in like box, big boxes like these. So check them out. I'm sure you got a Walgreens. There's Walgreens everywhere. So, all right. Thanks for watching my video. I'll see you later.